Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 6th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun as we had quite an event coming from that crusting sunspot region, an X-class solar flare erupted right there the bottom southwest region of the sun look in the last 48 hours incoming as we will see this solar flare within that very busy sunspot right there so it did not produce a large cme and this was not in an earth facing position but it was in a position enough where it will disrupt some radio communications Having a look at the last 48 hours outgoing, large solar prominence erecting from the surface in the northern hemisphere and as well cresting out. Now let's have another close look here at this amazing X-class solar flare, large plasma loop coming out of it. Flash. So thank God that was not in an earth-facing position. Having a look at a multi-spectrum we still have a pretty active sunspot region earth facing and as well noting there the active sunspot region incoming and if you look towards the top towards the north pole of the sun you can see a solar tornado spinning around a couple of them actually looking at our sun at another light you can see our heliosphere in action and as well sunspot regions Having a look here, as you can see, space weather conditions, we are in a strong R3 radio blackout. Impacts are expected. Wide area blackout of HF radio communications, loss of radio contact. Solar X-ray flux remains in C range. As you can see, it was an X1.5 solar flare erupting today. Geomagnetic activity sitting at just about 2 kp. And our solar winds are coming in right now at 493 kilometers per second. Still seeing a sporadic winds and as well loss of data. Having a look here at our ISPWA space prediction spiral, showing that CME taking off from the back side of the sun from that X-class solar flare right towards the Parker Solar Probe. Schumann resonance for today, power of five and blackout. As you can see, not much data to report here today blackout in effect for the Schumann resonance quality of six power of five and amplitude of five now this is something that happened late last night after the update after about 50 earthquakes struck the caldera of Kilauea it did erupt and within 15 minutes almost that caldera was completely filled up there was a weakened region here there was a lava pool last week, and then it cooled over, and then two more weak spots broke through late last night after the update. So Kilauea has erupted after seeing about 40 earthquakes, if not 50, right in the summit caldera of Kilauea. And it is still ongoing. Stay tuned. We will be keeping you updated here with daily events worldwide on this eruption. Just wanted to give you a look on what it looked like before it erupted. Heat signatures showing a lot of stress and heat coming up through the weak points. You can kind of see the old lava pool that was active on the right hand side. Now this caldera is about 300 meters across. So, yes, again, Mauna Loa erupted about a month ago, and now Kilauea has erupted. Just going to give you a quick look at where we are on the Hawaiian island. On the left here, that is Mauna Loa. And that erupted last month. 
And then here is Kilauea. This is the crater of Kilauea. And here are the earthquakes, according to USGS. There was 44 at the time, largest being a 3.3. So I was expecting something right after I made the update yesterday. I saw the swarm and I was expecting it to erupt. So I kept an eye on the infrared imagery and sure enough, it erupted. And let's have a look at earthquakes here. The last 24 hours across the world, we're sitting at about 250 earthquakes, USGS. We're going to start out here with the largest, which was a 5.9 south of the Fiji Islands but pretty deep, 505 kilometer depth. We saw another pretty deep earthquake today, 4.6, 216, and this one here, 4.9, 574 kilometer depth. Quiet through Indonesia, way too quiet. Philippines, all through that region. Increasing activity continues northeast of Taiwan, and as well, Nano Japan, only reporting one earthquake there. 4.9 earthquake here, Chagos, Somalia plate. Activity continuing, Afghanistan, 4.2 there reported, and a 4.4. Quiet through Europe. Notable earthquake here on the point of Greenland, Western Greenland, reporting a 4.7, 10 kilometer depth, as well a 4.7 off the coast of Africa here, Ascension Island. 5.1 earthquake, South Sandwich Islands. And then overlooking South America, increased activity today, 4.9 there, Cacha, Argentina. And as well, right up the coast here, Puerto Rico, Puerto Santa, Peru, and as well, Northern Peru, 4.4. Activity continues, Caribbean Plate. Minor earthquakes there, White City, New Mexico. Minor earthquakes up into Northern California here. Humboldt Hill, 3.3, and Ferndale, 3.2. Also wanted to give you a heads up here because we do have a small swarm occurring south of Yellowstone Lake. Just zooming in here, USGS, as you can see, 248 earthquakes across the map. And we've got about 11 here being reported the past 24 hours south of the Yellowstone Lake. Back to earthquakes here. Give you guys a show of the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. As over the last couple days, we've seen it increase. Numbers are increasing and as well the magnitudes. Considerably deep earthquakes there, Fiji. And as well, notable there, Deep earthquake, Afghanistan. Atlantic Ridge, seeing quite a bit of activity. Northern Atlantic Ridge. And as well into the south towards the Antarctic Plate. Heads up, stay aware, prepared everybody. Just have a plan. Hashtag no fear here. Now let's get to weather. We're going to give you a quick look first at the SO2. And we will give a quick look at that tomorrow and see how that has changed since Kilauea erupted. Having a look here, windy models, pretty large system heading into the UK. And as well, a few more right after that. Bit of an atmospheric river occurring through the Atlantic as well. Right from Cuba to Ireland. Overlooking the Pacific, watching some pretty big systems here develop as well. By Tuesday next week, you're going to see a big system roar up Eastern Pacific. Look at these beasts. Wow. Those are some big systems, folks. Heads up. One of them is going to be heading up towards Eastern Russia, right across the Aleutian Islands. And the other one is going to circle around the coastline of the East Pacific. So atmospheric river continues for California. Let's have a look at forecast models here for the next few days. Lots of rain 
and heavy snowfall towards Pacific Northwest and California. Minor systems eastern Canada, but more northward. Dry through Ontario and abnormally warm. Watch for some pretty extreme weather here heading up the northeastern coast of the United States and as well in the long range. One system right after another here coming towards California. Thoughts and prayers to everybody affected there. Overlooking Europe, Africa, South America. Quite a bit of moisture coming into Europe this week. Gray days ahead of you. And as well, a Mediterranean low heading towards the Saudi Arabias. I'm sure we'll bring some flash floodings. Overlooking Southeast Asia, West Pacific and Australia. Still have a tropical cyclone spinning around northern parts, northeastern parts of Australia. And it looks like it's going to linger around the coastline for quite a few days. Also, we're going to have a look here at the temperature forecast here, forecast models for the next few days. As you can see, up and down and up and down. Pretty much cold at night and warm during the day. Polar vortex really starts to stretch out, though, towards the end of this long-range forecast. We're looking at Europe. As things will be cooling down in your region starting next week. But most likely will not hang out too long. Some pretty extreme cold temperatures being reported there. Minus 54 degrees Celsius. Quick look here at Australia and the Pacific. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smack that like button and maybe share with your friends and family as we are growing quickly to 60,000 followers. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.